I mean, to your Trump, on that point of the debt action program, uh, the domestic debt action program, as it's currently proposed, what does it mean if nothing changes with the current structure? Well, if nothing changes, then more negotiations, because currently, as we speak, the process, in my view, has been bungled, and partly because of the sort of uh, I-know-it-all attitude of the government, where instead of engaging and consulting widely with the people that are affected, a lot of the things were pretty much thrown at them. And this is people's monies, people's livelihoods that we're talking about here. And so there was always going to be heavy resistance, right, uh, to, to it. But what people wanted to see was the government to actually engage in an open and frank manner, rather than attempting to you know, force the whole thing on them as a take it or leave it option. And that is really where we have a lot of the challenges now. And I very much, you know, uh, again, side with Mark. I don't think that that 31st January, um, you know, extension new date would be met because there are very entrenched positions here. And fundamentally, what this also means, in my view, is that that 55% debt to GDP number it's not going to be, it's not sustainable, it, even by 2028. So we might have to actually go back and rework those numbers because you're talking almost having to reduce your debt pressures by half within the space of about four years. And that is going to impose heavy austerity on the people of Ghana. So perhaps it's really a question of us going back to the drawing board and trying to see if we can instead you know, have a gradual reduction of these uh, debt metrics or indicators over maybe um, even an eight to 10 year period. Because I, I don't think that that 55% is attainable with the way we are actually going about the restructuring exercise um, uh, currently. Because remember, we're not even, uh, we haven't even talked about the external debt here. And that's also another whole complicated process in and of, its, of itself. So. Fundamentally, it is for the government to come back and engage the people. We also need to see some cuts in the expenditure profile because you cannot ask people to forfeit or forgo their lifetime investment and savings, but not see a commensurate right, action on the side of government that says that we are all in this situation, we're all in this mess, and we all want to get out of, of that. So the process is going to be more complicated, it's going to be more convoluted, and the end of February or mid-February deadlines that um, I've, I've heard people in government talk about getting the board approval, I don't think it's going to happen.